morning, everyone. I am Omoba Bimiadiola, and I want to warmly welcome you to my page. Today, we'll be talking about money matters in relationship part two. We'll be talking deeply about why people refuse to pay loan given to them by family and friends. Now, we have two reasons why people have refused to pay loan given to them by their friends or their family. The first reason is genuine reasons, and the second reason I call bad reasons. Now, what are the genuine reasons why people refuse to pay loan given to them by family and friends? Some of the genuine reasons is that at times they might find, people might find themselves in difficult situations that they could not help. Something like loss of, uh, of a child, loss of a close family member, loss of job, loss of business contracts, when their business collapsed and things like that. When people find themselves in a very tight financial constraint and they could not help, there is no way they can pay back loan that they are, has been given to them by family and friends. And I will say this to you, if somebody has given you a loan and you could not repay because of some genuine reasons that I have mentioned, maybe something happened to you and your business collapsed or you have some very tight financial uh, constraints, it is very okay for you to call the person and say, Mr. Hey, I am very sorry. I really wish to pay this loan back. But because of this, 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 and this, I will not be able to pay. Please, can you just give me some time to tidy up some things, then I will pay you. It is better that way than for the person to be calling you. You will be avoiding the calls, or you will be hiding, or you will be dodging the person. It is not good. When somebody has given you a loan and they are expecting the money back, Probably they, want, they also want to use the money for some things and you could not repay. It is better you come out straight and tell them these are the reasons why I will not be, be able to repay this loan. And make sure the next deadline you are giving them, you try as much as possible to meet up with that deadline. Another reason why people refuse to pay loan is what I call the bad reasons. The bad reasons. Now, some people feel because you are family, because you are friends, they have the right to borrow money from you and they will not repay. After her, she is my sister. After her, she is my uncle. After her, she is my cousin. Why would she be hunting me up and down because of 5,000, just 5,000 Naira? Now, you need to remember this. I have said it in my first video. This is their hard-earned income. And by the time they are giving you the money, it is not your right, it is just a privilege. For the fact that you are cousins, you are auntie, you are a brother, or you are something or, 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 or that, doesn't give you the right to borrow money from these people and refuse to pay. Now, when they give you money as family or friends, it is just a right. You need to note this. It is just a right and not a privilege. Another thing you need to know is that some people refuse to pay loan because they feel you are rich, you are wealthy. After all, she is a manager. She is a big woman. She is a big man. She, she is supposed to forget about the money. It doesn't work that way. For the fact that somebody is rich or wealthy doesn't mean they can just be lavishing money. Now, if they keep giving people money like that every now and then, do you think they will still have that money to give to you? Do you think they will still be able to afford to help you? Now, another thing about the, about the bad reasons why people refuse to pay loan is that they feel it's a small money. It is 5,000. It is 10,000. The money is not much. At least you should be able to forego it. That doesn't mean, even if it is one error, it is their hard-earned income, and they have the right to collect the money from you. So it is very important for you as a person, when you are taking money as a loan from somebody, to repay as that when you agree. Now, another thing I want to call the attention of you two as a, as a borrower is, if you know you cannot afford to repay back a loan, it is better you don't take it as a loan in the first place. Now, this is it. You can come out straight and say, Please, I need 10,000. I don't want to borrow it because if I borrow, I might not be able to repay. Can you please assist me with this 5,000 Naira? It is better that way than for you to collect the money as loan and the person is expectant, expecting that you will pay back at the end of the month, expecting that you pay back at the end of the week and eventually you could not pay. This ruins relationships a lot. I know you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please share with your friends. Invite your friends. You can also follow me on Instagram at Krista Claire with Omoba Briadiola. And you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel at Krista Claire with Omoba Briadiola. Please like my page on Facebook and invite your friends. Thank you.